Welcome back. Welcome back to our Mercy Health Plans pregame show. You see Carver Arena, one of the great arenas in the Valley, as later on tonight, the Southern Illinois Salukis in a four-way tie for first take on the Bradley Braves. Well, now I'm joined by two very distinguished gentlemen and two guys that have left their footprints Where? all over the Valley here. I wipe two my the, feet. Two of the great play-by-play -play guys in the country. First, to my far right, Dave Snell, the voice of the Bradley Braves, in his 27th year of calling hoops here at Bradley. And Mike Reese in his 27th year of calling play-by-play -play for the Egyptian dog Salukis of Southern Illinois. First, I got to ask you guys how you're feeling. Last we saw you, Dave, we were taking you off the floor with IVs and oxygen, and we were worried about you. Well, I'm fine now, and, and I can't say enough. First of all, the people at Creighton University, Quest Center, and uh, and all the folks at the hospital there, of which Matt West, Dr. Matt West, who loved the three-point shot from the right corner, was one of my doctors. So. I, I feel fine. I just got nailed with the uh, combination of flu and a lot of stress, and it just wiped me out. But uh, it was a it was a tough game to miss. But I did watch you and Spoon on, from the hospital, and it got my blood pressure back up. So that was a good thing. <laughs> well, we're glad you're doing better, and you Thanks. look a whole lot better. And Mike, you've had some health issues too. How are you two, feeling? Uh, two summers ago, Mitch, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, six out of seven days are good days, and that's a pretty good ratio, even if you hadn't had any health problems. But I'm I'm fine. Thank you. That's what 27 years of doing play-by-play -play will do to you at the same institution. Did you guys plan this? I mean, when you, you say, hey, Sitting let's, here now? No, let's do this all together 27 years ago. No. You're like, okay, did, Dave, no. you go to Peoria. No, this I'll go to Carbondale now. and let's do this. No, I wanted to do, uh, my, my, uh, my goal out of college was to do Division I play-by-play, -play, and I had my goal as soon as I graduated. Mitch, so all of a sudden I had a goal. Maybe I should have set another goal. But uh, no, this was not the plan by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm an SIU alum and I love it. And if this is where I finish my career, that would be tremendous because uh, it's a great gig to have, especially right now with Southern very, very good in football and basketball. And I think that, that a love for the institutions that we have, I think that's what really sure. drives us, you know, being a part of the community, uh, being a, a part of the school and the relationships, the games, you have memories and they go on forever, but it's the kids as they come in as young men and grow up to be young adults and then follow them and their families. And I think Mike would agree that is the real rewarding part of this business. Not many people, Rich, get to do their alma mater's team's game. And Dave and I do, and we're very, very lucky. What's unique is both coaches in tonight's game coach for their alma maters, and both announcers are going to do the play-by-play -play for their alma maters. Okay, great memories now. Going through 27 years, you both had awesome teams. Dave, for you, what comes to mind in those 27 years? Great moments. I'd have to go back to the 81-82 season, regular season champs. Didn't get an NCAA bid, which would never happen now with the Valley. And that was Mitchell Anderson, David Thirdkill, that group. Seven overtime game that year against Cincinnati. That'll never happen again. And there's a coach for Sace with a very, very quaffed um, <laughs> uh, hairdo. Uh, that team rolled through the NIT and, and was just very, very good. There's Donald Reese there. They had three seniors. Mitchell Anderson, who goes into the, the uh, Missouri Valley Conference Hall of Fame at the, uh, at the tournament in a couple of weeks, getting a hug there. So that was very, very special. Following Hersey Hawkins, obviously, in his career and his 3,008 points, 44 in his last game, 63 against Detroit. That was special. And then one shot. Deion Jackson's winning fling in the semifinals uh, against, uh, at that time, SMS. That was a special moment and, uh, and one to share. And I think those moments, Chris Lowry had one. He made a, a game-ending shot in his career. That's what makes the Valley Tournament so special. And this year, and I'm sure Mike would agree, more than any other, you got to get tickets for this tournament. Conference tournament in America. What comes to mind for you? It's a much grander as then and or going to Syracuse and be in Kentucky and see those three schools plus Southern, that was, uh, that was awfully good. That was awfully special in my top moment. Well, let me speak for the entire Valley. You two guys are the best there can be in the country. Your two schools are just blessed to have you stay 27 years. You're too kind, thank you. All right, thank Mike you. Reese, Dave Snell, the voices of their schools tonight. It's Bradley in Southern Illinois. Thanks for watching our Mercy Health Plans pregame show.